Hello everyone, I am Neeraj Agrawal from the Pabli team and in this video I would like to tell you about a great feature that we are bringing up inside Pabli Connect and that feature is a delay module. Now delay module is one of the most asked feature for quite some time. People have been like trying to get that feature built inside the platform as soon as possible and there is reason for that. Delay module is something that can actually enhance the level of workflows that you are creating inside your account okay and it actually helps you to do certain things which otherwise is not possible and i will let, like to tell you few of the use cases that you will be able to accomplish once the delay module is launched inside pabli connect okay so let me just tell you one of the use cases okay and i'll just write delay module okay so this is the module that we are working on and it is coming up and it is coming soon okay and our delay module is going to be very very special because practically there will be no limitation and so let's let me just tell you what kind of things you can do okay so use case <laughs> okay i i like to uh, tell you all about the use cases all the time so the use case is let's say um, if you are doing an appointment booking through some software it can be Calendly or it can be just about any appointment booking software. And today is 1st of January 2020 and someone is trying to book an appointment on 15th of February 2020. Now what you really want to do is as soon as the appointment date approaches, you really want to remind the person to with which you are going to do an interview one day ahead of the time. Okay, so essentially what you want to do is whenever someone is booking an appointment you essentially want to wait till 14th of february because 15th february is the appointment date so you really want to wait until 14th of february and once that date comes you really want to send an email to that person telling them that hey we have an appointment coming up tomorrow okay so essentially what you really want to do is so let me just write a trigger so your trigger is appointment is booked Okay, and this appointment is booked on, this appointment is booked on uh, 1st of January. And as soon as that appointment is booked, you really want to send a reminder email on 14th of February because 15th is an appointment date. So essentially what you really want to do is, you really want to uh, put a delay of about 30, 40, 44 days. You really want to put a delay of 44 days until this specific email is sent to the person with which you have booked the appointment. So again, these, this is one of the use cases that you will be able to do with delay module, okay? Now this is one use case. Now the other use case is, so this is use case one. Other use case is, let's say if you want to delay a certain function or a certain step for a particular number of days, okay? So let's imagine someone joins a email list of a specific uh, segment. So let's say if you're using MailChimp and you have got a lead from somewhere and that lead has been added to MailChimp, okay? Uh, you might be collecting that lead from uh, maybe like Google, Facebook lead ad or maybe like from some other place. Now what you really want to do is as soon as the lead is generated from Facebook lead ad, you really want to put a delay of seven days before you send an SMS reminder to that person, okay? And if you really want to do that, you can put up a delay module again, but instead of having a date time based delay module this time, where you specify a date, you will have a delay which says, I want to delay this step until seven days, okay? So the lead joins in through a Facebook lead ad, you put a delay of seven days, and after seven days, a reminder email goes to, a reminder SMS goes to the person that, hey, uh, you actually subscribed to us one week back. How is everything going on? We actually sent you an SMS just right away when you signed up, but we haven't heard back from you. So this is the seventh, this is the message that we really wanted to get in touch with you. Okay, so again, the use case too is you can put a delay of like seven days or 10 days or uh, two months or three months or whatever you want. You can actually put a delay of a certain time period before a specific action happens. So we are actually coming up with two delay uh, options. One is going to be a delay of uh, delay until. So that means if you want to delay a specific step until a specific date, yes, you can do that. 
and we also are coming up with a delay module which will have the option of delay for so delay for will be like delay for seven days delay for 10 days delay for one month those are the options that are going to come up inside the delay module so i believe the delay module in itself will be very very useful inside your workflows and once that comes you will be able to automate lot of really amazing things inside the Pabli connect platform itself now delay module is something which is very rare and you will not find the delay module inside a lot of softwares out there so for example if you have used integromat integromat has just a delay of five minutes it allows you to have a sleep delay okay but Pabli connect is going to actually have a much more wider delay where you can delay something for like one month two month or something like that zapier has a maximum delay of uh, 30 days but in our case the delay will be for you can actually delay things for a longer and extended period of time as well so i believe the delay module will be really amazing and you will be able to do a lot of things once the delay module comes in so again thank you for watching the video and have a great day thank you